Hi, Bill Henshaw here again on my YouTube channel, Win in Court. And this video is going to be kind of a shout out, you know, a thank you and a calling out of Megan Rapino. You know, for what she did over there in the recent Women's World Cup, which we just won, as you may know. And actually, truth to tell, that's a tournament that we really should have won. Probably easier than we did. I mean, what the hell, we had the two best teams there. So it wasn't that big a deal. And I have some issues with that, uh, Megan. I'll be glad to talk to you about later. You can get to people and say, hey, you need to make some changes here and generate interest in the game because the women's game doesn't have near what the men's game has. It may never have that, but we can get a lot closer with some little changes and ideas that I have. And oh, by the way, I'm a former referee. I did eight or ten years on the East Coast as a soccer referee, so I'm, I'm not a newcomer to this. That said, I did see a cartoon I loved about this at the time. Uh, talking about our team winning the Women's World Cup, which it should have done. And that's, of course, the famous Statue of Liberty there. And you get full credit for that. You know, no question about it. I enjoyed watching the tournament. I was able to watch a lot. Thank goodness it was on a good time for my schedule. So I was able to watch a lot of it, including the final game. And it was all good. But coming to the real point here, you know, about you standing there at attention and without crossing your heart or saying the national anthem. Not only is that good, I'd like to see a lot more people doing it, Colin, Ka Colin Kaepernick in the mix, although I disagree with the dispute about the NFL. He was never that good a quarterback. But that said, if you knew what the real situation was with our government, Megan, and you can learn it from me, you know, send me an email at youwinningcourt at gmail.com. I've got a document packet you're going to love to see. If you knew the truth, you would not only be taking a knee when they played the national anthem, you'd be flipping it off. Not because of the flag or because of the government that was supposed to be there, but because of the government that is there. That's a martial law military government. I can prove every damn bit of it. So you're not only right, uh, you're more right than you may ever know to do what you did, and I would keep doing it, and encouraging others to do it too, and at least send a message in that way if we can't do anything else. That said, if you get a hold of me here and we can work out a schedule to meet, it's going to be well worth your while to do it, because you impress me as someone that wants to get out there and make a change, and that's exactly what the business that I'm in, is doing that, and doing it in a big time way. And without regard, by the way, to civil rights, forget about that crap. Uh, it's, it's not worth wasting your time on that. You know, the gay, lesbian stuff, at least not in the way it's being presented now. Because what you're doing is invoking that same federal, regional, martial law in order to get your way. That's not how the nation and republic was set up to work. It was not, and it is not. But there are a lot of things that you can do. You may be surprised about some of them. But that being said, uh, feel free to contact me, contact other players that you may know if they want to contact me or other friends that you may have that are into these kinds of affairs, and you'll find out what the real situation is and why. That's even better. I have a lot of answers. Nobody has them all, but I have a lot more than my share. So that said, thanks again, and good luck for the next four years, whether you'll be back, I don't know. Um, but that said, uh, you know, remember the listeners uh, to subscribe to my videos and like my videos. You know, send me an email at youwinningcourt at gmail.com for information. And we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.